three mines are out. Oh, I was, uh, can't count, remember? I was 25 reps, and uh, they're called rest pauses. So quite essentially, just do as many as you can, and then you take a break. Mine's around 15 to 20 seconds, and then I go again. I do that for like three rounds, uh, per my coach's instruction. They're very great. I used to call them like cluster sets, or like giant sets. People called them a lot of different sets. Also, the one thing you have to take into consideration is when you lift with good technique and good form, you don't want to go super heavy. But the more that you kind of get the hang of it over time, eventually you're going to get stronger and you're going to get so strong that like if you lift a weight, like let's say five plates on here for like good six, eight reps with good technique and good form, you're going to have big legs. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because I was working with Mike Isertel. I'm sure most of you know who he is if you're following my channel. Um, Mike Isertel once taught me that like to start the weight a little bit lower and then gradually as your form gets better and better, you're going to lift heavier. You're gonna, your form is going to be perfect. Imagine lifting 135 with like really good form and good technique. Now imagine three, four, five months later, you're squatting like 315 with incredibly good form and good technique your legs will explode. They will look ridiculous if you can squat 315 for a good set of like eight to 10 with good technique, good form, pause and, and control and all that stuff. So definitely it's, uh, it's definitely a good thing to start focusing on, especially for newbies. Mm-hmm. 